Hey guys, welcome back. So jumping right in, I do have my brows done and I'll leave the products that I use listed below because I already have a brow tutorial if you're interested. So I'm first taking my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade Skin Tone. I'm just applying this all over my lid with a flat concealer brush. This one's from RC Cosmetics. Then I just take my Beauty Blender to blend that out. And this is my favorite way to prime my eyes because it makes my shadow last all day and go on super smooth. To go ahead and set my base, I'm going to go ahead and take this Wet n Wild Single Shadow in the shade Creme Brulee, which I love. This is literally 99 cents, and I love it for setting my eyeshadow base because it makes everything super smooth, and then the eyeshadow just like glides on my lids. I love it. I'm going to be using some sticky tape today, and I'm just going to be applying it to the back of my hand a couple of times just so it's not super harsh around my eye area. That way when I pull it, it doesn't pull on my skin too much. And then today I'm going to be using the NYC Lovatix Palette by Demi. You can find this at any drugstore that sells NYC. I think I found mine at Target or Walmart. I got it in the beginning of the year, and I love this palette because it's really just a neutral, everyday palette, perfect for beginners. So I took that light brown shade on a big, fluffy brush. This one's from Live and Breathe Beauty. You can find it at Walmart. And I'm just taking the shade as my neutral blending color, just applying it back and forth into my crease, and I do build it up quite a bit. Then I'm using those two dark colors. One's like a deep dark chocolate brown, another one is more of a kind of pinky tone brown, and I'm just going to mix those two on an equal tools brush and just apply that right into my crease, blending it onto my lid. This is a dual ended brush. I found this at Walmart. If you guys are interested, I'll just leave all the brushes that I use down below because I know it can be a little overwhelming trying to keep up. So everything will be in the description box below. So with this look, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. I wanted to create something that was dark, but I still wanted to use glitter. So this is what I came up with. I know it's not perfect by the way, but please keep in mind that I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a beauty lover who likes to play with makeup. Then I just took the same brush from earlier with no additional product on it just to blend out the edges. And then I picked up the two light shades just to highlight my brow bone using a flat concealer brush. This one is from Sigma. Now I'm picking up that navy blue color on a flat shader brush. I just applied that all over my lid. This is like the main kind of base for the glitter that I'm going to be using and I do build this shade up quite a bit even though the color is really pigmented I feel like when I applied it I wasn't getting as much like pigment as I wanted I really wanted it to be intense that's why I just built it up quite a bit here and just packed on the color all over my lid Then I'm going to be taking that light brown shade again on the same blending brush from earlier and I'm just going to be applying that into my crease just to blend everything out a little bit more. I'm using my e.l.f. liquid liner. I just got this and it's actually not that bad. It was pretty easy to do my wings so I really liked it so far. Um, I just removed the tape and just did my usual wing. I didn't want it to be super thick and dramatic because I'm like not into dramatic winged liner anymore. I don't know what it is but I like it to be a little bit less dramatic. So I made it pretty thin. I know for some people this is still really thick, but if you watch my old videos, you know for me this is thin. So then I applied some mascara. This is the Max Volume Plus from Wet n Wild. I'm going to be applying falsies today. So, um, oh, really quick, of course, the glitter. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. I love these. I've used them so much in my channel because they really are just so convenient if you want to use glitter because there's no mess, but you still get that really beautiful glitter on your lids. This one is in the shade Midnight Glitz, by the way, and I just took the glitter side and I just applied that all over my lid. This does come with a cream shadow on the other end. I didn't want to use it for this look because I just felt like it wasn't necessary. I just really wanted the pop of glitter, which I love. It's super pretty. It sparkles. I think it's perfect for New Year's. And Revlon has a ton of different colors. So obviously, if you don't want to do something super bold like this, they do have neutral glitter colors, which I love as well. So I am just building that up. And then I went ahead and applied these lashes. You can find 
these at Ulta. They are like my new fave lashes. I love them. They're the Allure Luxe lashes and they are stunning. And then this is my favorite eyelash glue by Kiss, which you can also find again at the drugstore. So I'm just popping on these lashes. They're so beautiful and really full and thick black and they're really lightweight which I love so I think they really completed the look and I'm just applying those with tweezers of course. Okay, now for the face, I'm starting off with my Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I feel like for New Year's this is essential because it really makes your makeup last all night. And this does not break me out. I never had any issues with this primer. It's just absolutely amazing and it smells like a boy, which is like a win-win. Then for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This is like my all-time favorite foundation. One of my all-time favorites, actually. Um, I got this in the shade 220, and I applied way too much. I poured out so much on the back of my hand. I do wish this foundation came with a pump. That's the only downside, but I do love the finish of it. But just keep in mind when you are using this foundation, if you do have it, you don't need to apply as much as I did. I just didn't want to waste all the product that I used on the back of my hand, so I just applied it on my face, and I ended up making it work. Um, but yeah, I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender per usual, which I love. This foundation is really beautiful, though. If you have oily skin, I think it's going to be bomb on you. Then for my under eye, I'm taking the Hard Candy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment, which I love. I just went to the drugstore recently and I did not see this at my Walmart. So I'm not sure if it's discontinued or what, but this is like my absolute favorite. I really hope that it's not because this is amazing if you have like puffiness underneath your eyes. Um, if you didn't get enough sleep or something last night, I feel like this makes such a huge difference. So I really hope it's not discontinued. Let me know if you guys have seen it at your drugstore, but I just had to use it today because I woke up super early today to go to the semi-annual sale from Victoria's Secret so I didn't get that much sleep so I needed this under eye treatment. Then for concealer I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin. This one's in the shade light I believe and I'm just going to be applying that right underneath my eyes down the bridge of my nose everywhere where I normally apply it just to really give my face a nice highlighted look. By the way I am so sad that this is my last video with my Christmas background. I love my Christmas tree and my Christmas decor. I'm so sad I have to take it down. Then to go ahead and set that concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Contour Kit. This one's in the shade Caramel Toffee, and I'm using the Banana Shade on a Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm just going to be setting the places where I just applied the concealer. Then to set the rest of my face, I just took the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder, and this is a large Real Techniques powder brush, and I just applied that on the other areas where I didn't apply the concealer. And then to finish up the lower lashes, I'm picking up that shade from earlier on an e.l.f. contour brush for the eyes, and I'm just really smudging that under there and making it super dramatic and smoky. This turned out way darker than expected, but... I was like, let me just go with it. So then I took this Milani Liquid Eye Liner. This one's in the shade Black. I don't know why they call it Liquid Eye Liner Pencil. It's just a black pencil, basically. But this is so black, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's super long wearing. It doesn't smudge on my contacts. I really love it. So I just took that same brush to really smudge it out and make it even darker. So now for the face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Duo. This one's in the shade Fiji Matte. And I'm just going to be giving myself kind of a very natural contoured look because I want the eyes to be the main focus of the face. And then I just took the blush as well just to keep everything neutral on a wet and wild stippling brush. To highlight, I'm going to be using the Essence 3D Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade 07. I just took the whitish kind of eyeshadow and I just applied that to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and everything. I felt like it was a little too icy so I went ahead to kind of neutralize that and I took the Wet n Wild Highlighter. This has a new name which I'll leave down below just to kind of make everything look a little bit less icy and white on my face. Then lastly for the lips, I'm using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. 
eyeliner in the shade Nude, which is one of my faves because it literally goes with almost every nude shade that I have in my collection. Then I topped that off with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Push Up. These are so lightweight and beautiful. They have a lot of different nude shades to choose from, so I feel like there's like a nude shade for every skin tone. They are amazing. Then I just topped everything off with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. So that does complete this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and for the continued support on my channel. Be safe on New Year's Eve. I love you guys, and I'll see you next year. Bye!